Greetings! I am Anthony L. Elmore, President and Founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. We at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association practice the Buddhist teachings as taught by the 13th century Japanese Buddhist sage Nichiren Shonen. The word Nichiren means sun lotus and Shonen means priest. It is Nichiren who teaches us that the highest of the Buddha Shakyamuni's teachings was that of the Lotus Sutra and we practice the Lotus Sutra as taught by Nichiren Shonen. Now, the way that we teach Buddhism and practice Buddhism is based on the Gosho. The Gosho are letters that Nichiren wrote to his disciples to teach them Buddhism. Today, we bring to you an exciting Buddhist lecture. Our Buddhist lecture today is called Harriet Tuckman, a Black Buddhist Lecture. We at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association purposefully give Black Buddhist lectures because Buddhism, as it is predominantly taught in America and around the world, it is not so much as a Buddhist religion, but Buddhist religion is taught more as an Asian culture. Let me cite you an example. When you look here and you look at this Buddhist altar that I had, this altar here, my brothers and sisters, was made in Africa, and you see my African culture, my history, and my language, because we believe in teaching Buddhism in a way that's inclusive of our culture, history, and language. Now, the question that many of you may ask, since my topic is Harriet Tubman, what does this have to do with Buddhism? See, in regards to the Lotus Sutra, the Lotus Sutra is the essence of the Buddha Shakyamuni's teachings. The Lotus Sutra explains that Buddhism is all of life's phenomena. Please understand that we at the Prophet Buddhist teachings put a warning label in regards to how Buddhism is taught by the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu, and Nichiren Shu, and other Asian Buddhist sects. Most of the Asians Buddhist sects extricate all black history, culture, and language from Buddhism. The Nichiren sects are supposed to follow the teachings of Nichiren Shonen, but they do not. Those of you who are interested in what Nichiren writes, you have to look no further than the Gosho. The Gosho are letters that Nichiren wrote to decipher the teaching of Buddhism. Now, in the Gosho, the gifts arise, it explains how the idea of Harriet Tubman, the Bodhisattva, a black Buddhist lecture. You see, in America, they have just announced that they will change the $20 bill and put a black woman on the $20 bill. Harriet Tubman will be on the $20 bill. Now, let us explain to you how this relates to Buddhism. You see, in the Gosho, the gift of rice, it reads, quote, The true path lies in the affairs of this world. The Golden Light Sutra states, To have a profound knowledge of this world is itself Buddhism. The Nirvana Sutra states, quote, all of the non-Buddhist scriptures and writings decide by themselves Buddhist teachings, not non-Buddhist teachings. It goes on further. Quote, it says, When the great teacher Milo compared these passages from the one of the six volume of the Lotus Sutra that reads, Quote, No world affairs or life or work are ever contrary to the true reality. He revealed their meanings and pointed out that although the first two sutras are profound, since their meaning is still shallow and fails to approach that of the Sutra. He goes on further, he says, they relate to sacred matters in terms of Buddhism, whereas the Lotus Sutra explains that in the end, secular matters are the entirety of Buddhism. So, ladies and gentlemen, when you look on the news and you find out that now you have a black woman for the first time in history who is going to be on the $20 bill, that is Buddhism. See, the Gold Show teaches us the truth had lies in the affairs of this world. Do you know that the most used currency in the world in America is the $20 bill? 
When you go to the teller machine, you get $20 bills, and they put not just a black woman, they put a black revolutionary woman on the $20 bill, and this is what we at the Proud Black Goodness World Association call a cultural coup. Asians, white people, and blacks trained by Asians and white people teach a Buddhism whereas the perception of Buddhism is that of an Asian on a mountain meditating. Such thinking is not Buddhism, that is Asian culture. The Lotus Sutra is the law of cause and effect. Harriet Tugman is the story of a black woman who manifested her bodhisattva nature to risk her life to free black people and to fight against slavery. Those of you from India, please note that I see no instance of Dr. Rahimul Mbeka on a mountain meditating. Dr. Mbeka went to school, got an education, and he had the wisdom and the courage to challenge the discrimination of Hinduism. Dr. Martin Luther King took action. Look at the image of the Black Bodhisattvas. Malcolm X, Nelson Mandela, and black leaders who caused change used their wisdom and they took action. The story of Harriet Tugman teaches about the law of cause and effect in taking action. Harriet Tugman pulled a gun on the slaves and said, you are going to be free whether you want to or not. True Buddhism is the law of cause and effect and not just being on a mountain meditating. I live in Memphis, Tennessee. You see, Memphis, Tennessee is named, was named Memphis after Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson was the president of the United States who came from Tennessee. He, he is the master and he is what we call the original or the or, or the original American who taught, who practiced ethnic cleansing. It was Andrew Jackson who went to Florida and killed the Seminole Indians. And then he, when he became president, he initiated what is called the Indian Removal Act. That is what Andrew Jackson did was he and his buddies in the Congress passed a law that all the Cherokee, all the Indians east of the Mississippi River had to be taken to a reservation in Oklahoma. He did not believe in a cultural integration and what he did was he set up Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee where I live was designed for cotton. Memphis became not only the cotton capital of the world, it's still the cotton capital of the world, but Memphis, Tennessee was the slave capital of the world. And Memphis, Tennessee was a city where the environment was developed to where they can kill a Dr. Martin Luther King. That's what Memphis was. Memphis was the slave capital of the world. Now, in my own life, in my personal life, I met the spirit of Harriet Tubman. I was in Kenya in 1990 at the Masa Mara Plains in Kenya and I broke out into tears because I myself had traveled to Africa and the ancestors spoke to me and they said, tell your people to come home to Africa. And since 1990, I have developed my life and I and to devoted my life to heaven, African Americans come home. In fact, I am asking the president of president of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, to honor African Americans with a formal state reception. In fact, there's a news release and you can Google these words, it's called Obama, King, Kennedy, and Kenya. Now, this is what the news release says. It reads, Anthony Elmore, the five-time world karate kickboxing champion, 
community activist, Newton Buddhist, and a 21st century Harriet Tubman, the abolitionist who took slaves to freedom. Instead of taking slaves to the North to freedom, Elmo's passion is to take African Americans to Africa to connect to their African ancestry. I am not only the Harriet Tubman who want to bring African Americans to the African heritage, I am the Harriet Tubman of Buddhism. And my goal is to free African Americans from Buddhist racism and inferiority. My goal is to bring African Americans to freedom of the highest teachings of Buddhism, of the Buddhist Shakyamuni, and teach African Americans the Lotus Sutra. Black people, if you want to check SGI Dasaki Keda, Nichiren Shoshu and Nichiren Shu, just ask any of those Japanese sets to produce written records of the inclusion of black history, culture, and language in their Buddhist teaching. This is what African Americans or black Buddhists hate to follow. Black Buddhists hate to follow the ghost show or the teachings of the messenger of the Buddha. See, black people hate to follow the teachings of Shakyamuni. Now, and they hate the ghost show because in the ghost show it's called conversation between a sage and an unenlightened man and it reads, quote, Therefore, in the sixth volume of the Nirvana Sutra, his final teaching delivered in the grove of sour trees, our merciful father Shakyamuni Buddha, the Lord of the teaching said, quote, Rely on the law and not upon persons. Even when great Bodhisattvas such as Universal Worthy and Majushra men who have returned to the stage of near-perfect enlightenment expound the Buddhist teachings, if they do not do so with the sutra text in hand, then one should not heed to them. I don't care if it's a Dasaki Keda, a high priest, or the Nichiren Shu University. If they don't have sutra texts in hand, if they're not dealing with the law, then we should not follow them. So why would we go from one Japanese racist to another Japanese racist? Now, we at the Proud Black Buddhists follow the teachings of the Buddha Shakyamuni. The Buddha teach us to follow the law and not persons. The law is science. Just because SGI Nichiren Shoshu and Nichiren Shu teach a theory that goes to get signs, we should not follow such teachings. Now, let us get back to Harriet Tubman, the Bodhisattva Black Buddhist Lecturer. The Lotus Sutra is the title of the Myoho Renge Kyo is the title of the Lotus Sutra. Myo means to open your mind, or mystic. Ho means manifestations or the law. The law is the 3,000 worlds. Whether you practice a teaching called Buddhism or not, the law or the 3,000 worlds manifest. Harriet Tubman manifested her Bodhisattva nature. Harriet Tubman was born in 1822. She died in 1913. She was an American abolitionist. She was born a slave, but she became a humanitarian, an armed scout and spy for the United States Army. And during the Civil War, Tubman, who escaped to Philadelphia, then she immediately returned to Maryland to rescue her family. Slowly, one group at a time, she brought relatives with her out of the state and eventually guided dozens of other slaves to freedom. Traveling by night in extreme secrecy, Tugman, or Moses, who she's called, never lost a passenger. When the Civil War began, Tugman worked for the Union Army. She was a cook, a nurse, and then an army scout and a spy. 
She was the first woman to lead an armed expedition in war. She liberated more than 700 slaves. She was active in the woman's suffrage movement, or women who, needed, who wanted the right to vote. Again, the gift of rights reads, they relate to secular matters in terms of Buddhism, whereas the Lotus Sutra explains that secular matters are the entirety of Buddhism. What is more secular than a movie? Let's watch a scene from the 2019 Harriet Tuckman movie named Harriet. This movie is Buddhism. Let's watch a scene from the movie. There's not much time. You got to be miles away from here for dawn. Where is she? Follow that north star. If there are no stars, just follow the river. Listen for them. Fear is your enemy. Whoa. Easy now. I'm gonna be free or die. I don't know if you know how extraordinary this is, but you have made it 100 miles to freedom all by yourself. Would you like to pick a new name to mark your freedom? Harriet Tubman. You are welcome here anytime. If I'm free, my family should be too. I made up my mind, I'm going back. You're confident, composed, when trouble comes. You'll be ready. Papers. It says here you're five and a half feet tall. You ain't more than five feet. Must have won my high boots that day. Why are you back here? It ain't safe. I come to get you. Bring all of you to freedom. Do you know what would happen if you got caught? You got lucky, Harriet. I made a diss for all my own. So don't you tell me what I can't do. Harriet, welcome to the Underground Railroad. Everybody, everywhere is looking for you. God don't mean people to own people. this thief and burn her at the stake. Harry! I would give every last drop of blood in my veins until this monster called slavery is dead. Ready? Let me explain to you about Buddhism in regards to the Lotus Sutra. The essence of true Buddhism, or the Lotus Sutra, is the entity of the mystic law. The mystic law is Namu Myoho Renge Kyo. Whether you study or practice Buddhism or not, the mystic law is always operative or in effect. This is how Nichiren explains this in the Gold Show title, Entity of the Mystic Law, and it reads, quote, the mystic principle of the true aspect of reality is like this. The mystic principle of the true aspect of reality is one, but if it encounters evil influences, it will manifest delusion, while if it encounters good influences, it will manifest enlightenment. Enlightenment means enlightenment to the essential nature of phenomena and delusion is, is ignorance of it. Let's take this thing just a little bit further. Now, see, Harriet Tugman was able to bring out her enlightened nature. There is a Harriet Tugman in all of us. If we encounter evil influences, it will manifest as delusion. If we encounter good influences, we will encounter enlightenment. See, Harriet Tugman 
brought out her enlightened nature, her compassion. Our reading and learning about the story of Harry Tugman is a positive experience. In regards to the Buddhist teachings, the fact that whites, Asians, blacks trained by whites, and Asians accept the extrication of black history, culture, and language from the Buddhist teaching makes us complicit or delusional regarding Buddhism. If you look at some Asian on a mountain meditating, you and think that's enlightenment, you are delusional. There is no enlightenment on a mountain. Enlightenment is awakening to the correct law of cause and effect in our lives. We at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association are certainly proud of Harriet Tubman, a symbol of black pride and dignity on the $20 bill. I am Anthony L. Elmore, President and Founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. It's a black people Fighting in the world for freedom, justice, and equality, we're the best student. We are called the Proud Black Buddhists. We are going to put you guys on alert in the 15th chapter of the Sutra where the Buddha stars are the earth. They are child suckers who try to knock us. We are the Black Buddha stars. Dr. King, Malcolm X, and Nelson Mandela are Black Buddha stars. The one that was stars that come from India. His name was Zachary Hill and Mecca. The old name for India is the East Indies of Maria. From the land of India called East Indies of Maria, a great man called Chakamone Buddha. The great teacher called the Nongta Sutra. The little sister teachers just to treat them and equality. We teach the people how to be free. The teacher on the Sutra, we're the best to suit it. We call ourselves. 